In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to animate the same title in three completely different ways. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. Alright, let's get going with idea number one, which is basically a write-on effect. I've already added a new comp and a simple purple background solid. Next, let's grab the title tool and add our text. Create it, because that's what these title animations hopefully are. All capitals, size 250 pixels, and let's set the tracking to 50 to give the letters some more space. Use the align tool to align the text to the center. Then, with no layer selected, we grab the pen tool. No fill, stroke color, let's use any color but white, with 60 pixels. And we redraw the first letter, <laughs> like roughly. Make sure the whole white letter is covered by the stroke. It takes a bit to get the curves right. Here we are. Let's move the layer below the text layer. Everything is covered. And name the shape C1. We open the shape property and in stroke we set line cap to round cap. Next we add a trim pass animator to the shape. Set end to 0%, add an end keyframe at the beginning. Then at 13 frames, we set it to 100%. We select both keyframes, open the graph editor and adjust the speed graph. Let's mainly slow down the end of the animation and the beginning slightly. Then in the track mat column, we link the shape layer to the text layer to use it as an alpha track mat. Let's see. Awesome. Let's add some more detail to that. We keep the greenish gray stroke color. You can use any color you want, of course. Then duplicate the shape layer. Offset it to frames. And let's change the color into a bright pink. To layers, let's add one more. We duplicate the top shape layer. Offset it to frames. Change the stroke color to white. Awesome! We created a unique write-on effect. Next letter, we duplicate the C1 layer and move it above C3. Name it R1 or whatever your letter is. Move it to 3 frames maybe in the timeline. Let's make the text layer visible for now. Then let's reuse the path we already created and turn it into a straight line, which we use for this left part of the R. We need to be exact here at this right edge we don't want to reveal the right part of the R. Then we grab the pen tool again and draw the right part. We want a separate path, so make sure to deselect the first one. But let's move it into the same shape property so that it can use the same stroke settings. And we delete shape too. Awesome, quick check. Everything is covered. Next, we duplicate the R1 shape, offset it to frames, then change the stroke color. Pick the pink color from the first letter. One more time, duplicate it, offset it, and change the stroke color to white, or to whichever color you want. There's no rule. And what's really cool, we only need one mask layer for all these shape layers, which is a great improvement in After Effects 23. Let's add some simple stars that blink along the animation. With no layer selected, we double click on the star tool. We set points to 4, inner radius to 10, outer radius to 45, inner roundness to around 250%. White fill, no stroke. Let's name the shape star. Then let's animate the scale property. Zero at the beginning, we add a keyframe. Around 75%, I think that's big enough, at 6 frames. Zero again at 12 frames. Let's adjust the endpoint of the layer. And we quickly adjust the speed in the graph editor. Slow down the end and the beginning of the animation. And this middle part here as well. Alright. Then we duplicate the layer to add some more of them popping up along the animation. This is how it looks like finished. Check out the free project file to see how I did the other letters. I know it's a lot of work, but honestly, using templates or plugins won't help you to become better at animation. 
Speaking of improving your skills, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references, color, then design a lettered phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. And even better, use the code manualdesmotion10 for an extra 10% off. The second idea is very different. Effects driven, the text is the same. First of all, we add a position animator to the text layer. Set the position to around 700 and zero, which moves the text to the right. Then we add a start keyframe. Set the value to 100% at one second. Next, we quickly open the graph editor and slow down the end and the beginning of the animation. Then we use the effects and presets window to add CC scale wipe. Set stretch to around 15. We move the center beyond the left edge of our text layer. Set the direction to 90 degrees. Then we set a center keyframe at 7 frames. At 1 second we move the center beyond the right edge of our text. We quickly use the graph editor to slow down the end and the beginning of the animation. Next, we add CC white time. Set forward steps to zero, backward steps to 15. Then we add a white solid, name it pattern. We add Venetian blinds to create a pattern. We set transition completion to 50%, width to five. We duplicate the effect and set the direction to 90 degrees. Awesome. Next, we duplicate the text layer and link the bottom one to the pattern solid to use it as alpha track mat. Finally, let's add some color to the bottom text layer. We use a four color gradient. Use whatever colors you want. Let's position the points along this pattern here. We duplicate the color gradient and set its blending mode to add. To make the colors even shinier, we add a glow effect. Set its glow radius to around 450. Awesome! Let's get to the third idea, which is driven by an animated texture, mostly. I've already added a background solid and text. First of all, we add CC Line Sweep to the text layer. Set completion to 100 and set a keyframe at the beginning. Then set it to 0 at 12, 11 frames. Then we add a new solid, name it Texture. To create the texture, we add turbulent noise. Fractal type dynamic. Noise type block. We set contrast to 2500. Brightness to 500. In transform, we animate the evolution using an expression. First of all, we reduce the frame rate to 8 frames per second. Posterize time. 8 in parentheses, semicolon in the end. Then, time asterisk 100. The evolution changes at 100 degrees per second. All right. Additionally, we want to animate the offset turbulence, but just the X value. So we add an expression to that property as well. As it's just the X value, we need a variable. X equals time asterisk minus 300, semicolon. We want the turbulence to move to the left. Then we ignore the error message and add an array. Square brackets and inside, our variable x, 540, the y value. Awesome. Then let's close all these properties and we add mosaic. Set horizontal blocks to 60, vertical blocks to 15. And we use sharp colors. Finally, we add posterize time and set the frame rate to 12. We've set the frame rate for the evolution to 8 before. This is for the offset property, basically. Finally, we link the text layer to the texture solid and use it as Luma mat. Then we duplicate the text layer, change the fill color of the text to let's say purple and invert the Luma mat. 
move the text layers a few pixels to the right. We duplicate this text layer, switch it from Fill to Stroke in the Character tool. Move it a few pixels to the left. Awesome! Let's add one more layer of detail. We reuse what we already have and duplicate the texture solid. Name it Texture Big. In the Turbulent Noise settings, we scale up the texture to around 450. In Mosaic, we set horizontal blocks to 6, vertical blocks to 3 to get really big shapes. Then we duplicate the bottom text layer. Scale it up as well to around 500%. Position it and use the big texture as Luma Drag Mat. Invert it. Awesome! So these are three very different ideas for unique title animations, built from scratch. Check out the free project file and all the other links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, cause you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one, bye guys!